Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some vintage story, shall we? Well, as always, thank you so much to everyone who has been watching and giving me tips and advice. I really appreciate it. Alex, Jan, JRB, Dylan, everybody watching along. I think that the tips about this garden, for example, have been very useful. So, from what I understand, three squares away from water, you get some hydration. But I think this final row of mine, which is four squares away from most of the water, is not getting anything. And this tall grass in here could spawn a, a rabbit, so I have to... Uh, take this out for the time being. So, we will do that. Uh, I'm just going to kind of clobber out uh, this stuff so that there's no extra tall grass right now. Because I don't want a rabbit in there eating my carrots. Alright. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just uh, take out all of this on the shore here to get my stuff as close to the water as possible and then what I want to do is see how reasonable it would be to either take water from this side or the other side or both and run a canal like right along here to get this third row some moisture so in Minecraft it's like what I don't know how far the water spreads but let's have some fun and let's try this out Okay, so I'm just going to dig this trench first. Uh-huh. Terrific. And now you can see some water coming, but really not a whole lot. Now, we can add to this, and let's see how this goes. If I just kind of empty that out. But unfortunately... It doesn't look like it wants to turn that corner. Uh, and so, you know, say la vie with the water physics. There's probably a way to coax it around that corner, but I I don't have the, the hacks to be able to right now. I'll even dig from over here. I don't care. I'm willing to try anything. Just to send a little trickle of water down here. All right. So, at the very least, I feel like we've done a better job getting some water to our crops. And I could even try harder to make this happen. I don't know if, like, mm, we'll have to see. I, could, I think I can make buckets. Here it kind of goes around that corner. I think I can make buckets to, to have it go even further, but for now, let's just do this. Take this out and irrigate to the best of our ability this section. All right, almost there. I wonder if I bring in, if I connect these two bodies of water, if anything will happen, like if the current will strengthen at all. It doesn't look like it. You know, it looks like uh, the physics kind of load initially for the water flow, for the location, and I don't think combining those two bodies of water did much for me, but it was fun to try. And my shovel has broken, which is okay. All right, so now we have that going. And we tried, and we're going to get some better results overall. But we'll do better when we make a, do a new garden. Now it's daytime, so I'm just going to wander off. I really haven't done a, a huge amount of exploring in this direction. So I'm going to kind of go this way through this lake and see what we can find in terms of surface mineral deposits. Oh wow, there's a ram. Awesome. 
we are looking for, uh, I mean, seeds for the garden is great, but copper. Copper, copper, copper. All that wood is amazing. This sheep is taking a bath. Oh, wait, what is this? Is this what I need? Oh, my God. Oh, boy. This could be it, people. This looks good. So I'm going to go to my map. I'm going to zoom way in, and I am going to put an icon here. I'll probably dig all this up so it won't matter, but um, whatever. All right. Now I'm going to... This is sand, so I need a shovel, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to nap out a shovel. Easy enough. Dink, 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 dink. Great. And then we put this over here. And we'll put this here. And then we'll just equip this and we're rocking and rolling. All right. So let's kind of um, check out these squares and see if we can find anything underneath that leads to copper. You know, it might not. It might just be a, a trick. And maybe if it's on sand, you just need to learn that that's not going to be promising. But I'm going to try it anyway. Oh, God. Uh, let me <laughs> undo what I've just done. That was a mistake. There we go. All right, don't go that far. There it is. There it is, right there. Look at that. Correct. All right, so the surface deposit was a fantastic indicator for us. All right, now we're down here. And let's go for it. There's at least some. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, absolutely over the moon about this. Oh, is my inventory full? Oh, it really is. Okay, that's great. All right? All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to drop some stuff. Okay, so we have nine copper, which is okay for the time being. We obviously want a ton more. I'm going to go ahead and drop. Uh, what is this? Wild Daisy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop that. And then... Uh, what are these guys? I want to pick them up. So let me just drop, uh, you know, soil, low fertility soil. I'm trying to throw it down. Uh, just drop it? No? Please? There we go. Get out of there. I think I, I couldn't because I kept trying to pick something else up or something. I don't know. Oh, this is tremendous. Oh, my gosh. The things we can do. Game just opened up. This is probably only going to be enough copper for us to realistically make, like, one tool. But even if we can, like, get ourselves, like, maybe a prospecting pick or... Something like that. We're going to be well on our way. Okay. So we might be done with this area. We, we did find it a lot. I'll mine just a bit more to be sure that there's nothing else around here. I don't know, like, what the, the protocol is. Like, how much you guys like to do of this you know um but it's something where i always want to be sure that i'm not forgetting or missing you know a little bit it doesn't look like i am
Okay. Okay. So now we need to escape. Another small part of the puzzle. And we're out. Amazing. All right. Well, how about that? There's some seaweed if I want it. All right, so now it's like, you know, I have uh, medium chunks of native copper, and we crush with a hammer to extract the nuggets. So we probably need to make a hammer. I don't have one. But maybe they contain more nuggets. I mean, I only got like nine little bits. Some sandstone in there. Alright. We are getting hungry. You know, we've been working hard. You'll have that. That is the body of a bunny. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, I need to go put stuff away. Alright. So, let's open up. Do I have any... I'm kind of actually short on space, aren't I? I need some more baskets. Alright, so I'm going to put away all of my copper like that. We're going to be needing to use that immediately. So we'll get that ready. I mean, some of this stuff, if you think about it, this is a axe mold, a pickaxe mold, and a hammer mold. So I did build a hammer mold. Uh, I can eat my food. Can you nap a hammer? Let me see about that. Shovel, knife, hoe, arrow, axe. No. So I'm going to need to make that hammer with this. Fair enough. Okay. So let me put this over here. Let me hang up some tools while I'm inside. Alright, yep, there's four tools hanging. Let me get... Uh, I would need to pour molten metal in that. I mean, actually, I can just leave it here. Oh, uh, so that's fine. Let me get this. Let me get some food. Bam. Very good. Alright, actually not as much food as I dreamed, but... Still pretty decent. Alright. And... What is this? Cooked bush meat. Alright, maybe I want to eat some of this. Yeah. Now look at me. I got a little protein in my diet. A little spring in my step. Alright. Uh, let me put away my soil. And uh, we can put away a bunch of that. Uh-huh. I got plenty of sandstone. Like, I really feel like... And, you know, just soil. Like, I don't need that. This is quartz and chunk. Uh, is it any of this? No, this is diamond and peridot. Those are, like, my nice gems. Alright. So what we need would be the croc, right? Or no, wait, the crucible. Where are you, crucible? Where did I leave you? Uh, oh, I gotta fire this. Right. Okay, so let's get that going. Uh-huh. So we'll take the firewood, and we can just throw this over here. Oh, you need sticks first. Fair enough. I need more. 
Sweet fancy Moses. All right, well, we can always get more. Sticks aren't hard to come by. And to be honest, we could pick up some of this and make another basket for storage because we're actually, we're actually at the point when we need that. I'm not gonna break it for the roots. I'm not, I'm not that hungry yet, but I probably will be at some point. How are we doing? I think I need 24. 18. Not bad. Clean all this up. All right. Two-way. Great. Oh, boy. There it is. All right. So let's get some sticks and go back inside. Honestly, I think if I just go like this, I can just break these with my hand and not take the durability from my knife. There we go. We're up to, you know, 12 sticks. That's enough for a couple of fire pits. Better than nothing. Get a little wood here. This also gives you sticks, generally. Or sometimes. There we go. Now, if this is a tree, we could get a bunch of sticks from this, maybe. Are you a tree? Let's get to the bottom of this. Is there a trunk over here? Or is this just like a giant bush? Ah, this might be just some shrubbery. Or it's a tree that's, like, very leafy, but doesn't have much of a trunk. That's fine. All right, we have 20 sticks, and that's good for now. Let's get inside for the evening. A forget-me-not. How wonderful. All right, rain's coming down. Frogs jumping. Well, don't have to worry about the irrigation when this rainfall is uh, getting my crops. That's a good problem. Okay. And uh, let's see. There it goes. And the obligatory I burned myself. All right. So we need to then um, get this going. I think that I really think Jam was talking about how you want to start the fire like with peat or something like that before you go coal just to get it kind of hot or even logs so you don't have to use all your coal. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to see if that will help me out here. Um, I'm just going to light this up. All right, there it goes. And while that's cooking, let me just make myself a basket. And we can, you know, put that there. And then throw some stuff in there. Like, for example, this and this. Uh, even my bowl. Uh, all this extra grass for now. These roots, sure. And this, uh, sandstone gravel. Put that away. Okay. And now what we can do is find our coal. Ah, uh, here it is. Charcoal. And then find our crucible. 
do we put you? It's my croc. Uh, I mean, it's around here somewhere, right? There's my anvil. The croc... Here it is. Okay, I'm like, what is going on? Alright, perfect. Pick it up. Pick it up. What do you mean? Pick it up. Remove it. Pick it up. I got an empty hand. Pick it up. Hello? Pick it up. I'm serious. Uh, okay. Try again? There we go. Oh, I, I guess the mouse just wasn't targeting it correctly for some reason. It was like the the tooltip was displaying pick up, but it wasn't picking it up. Anyway, um. Okay, I'm going to add this to this. And I'm going to, now it's at 700, I'm going to take that out and then start getting it hotter. And then what I'm gonna do is just throw in uh, all of these. This will create 30 units of copper. Um, let me look at this really fast, hammer. Uh oh, wait, that's not gonna be enough copper. So even though I want to do that, I think I need to take it out because it was the right plan. I mean, I primed the fire and everything, but I need more copper to start out with. I don't know if you can, like, partially pour some in there or not. Okay, so I need to be careful. We'll get there. We'll get there. I got to wait until I have some more. That's no problem. I have to be able to break up these chunks... But unfortunately, I don't have uh, enough just, like, raw pieces lying around for that. Okay. Well, in the meantime, let me take these out. Put them here. Let me interact with you. Let me throw on that and throw on that. Actually, I got some more firewood, don't I? If I don't, we're about to. Let me just cook all of these. Let's not have a food problem. Mm-hmm. All right. There you go. Now you can... Well, once that burns, I guess. Okay, so while that's happening, let's go ahead and just pan out this. I mean, we could find something. It's possible. All right, let's see. Arrowhead. So, if each one gives five, then I think we need, what, 20 nuggets to make it? Oh, and uh, Alex was telling me that if I make a cairn, um, I can grind these bones into bone meal for fertilizing my garden. And I don't have to have, like, the later technology to do that. So we can also use some of our clay to fire that up or get the mold built for that and get a cairn going to turn these bones into something useful for our operation. We found a candle. That's kind of wicked. I don't know if it burns forever. What's it say? Eight seconds. That is not forever. That is the opposite of forever. <laughs> it's not a very good candle. What is it, a birthday candle? Unless the S doesn't mean seconds, but means summers. 
seasons. What is this? Bony rib cage. Hmm. Well, sometimes you find a rib cage. There's an arrowhead. I wonder if you can smelt down like a copper arrowhead into uh, copper. You know, just be like, hey. It's probably not very much copper, but it would be copper. Yeah, we're getting a lot of bones, but I think the gravel is just... This is cool for, like, getting some kind of rare or exotic item. Oop. I don't want to sleep. That was a mistake. I teleported to my bed there. No, no, no. It's not solid for getting copper that I've seen. But you see, you get stuff like that. Like this, like, you know, rusty gear. Which could be good for something. Sometime. Alright. So let's go in here. And let's start putting stuff away. Okay, and I need some of this uh, sandstone gravel. will be great just for panning out the rest of this. How are we doing on our food? We got some? I need to eat. I'm starting to uh, get really hungry. It's been a big day. We found, like, you know, some of our first real copper. Go for it. Come on, copper. I'm looking for the, sh the shine. We got something. It was copper. Look at that. Now, if we could spike, like, the, the scrap tools that would somehow turn into a hammer, I'm not going to be upset with that. There's two copper. Here it comes. a good way to get Flynn. I mean, you'll never run out of the basic tools here. Okay. Quartz. One day, the quartz will be worth it. There's a copper. Oh, sorry about that. I interrupted my own sifting around. To I was so excited to put down these blocks. Come on now.
Oh, there's five. Really, if we just found, like, one more surface area with copper, we'd probably get quite close to what we need. But this is another way to do it pretty effectively. Well, not effectively, but you don't have to go anywhere. It's, like, it's great to supplement this overnight when it's not safe to go outside, and I can just be, you know, panning away. All right. I'm going to go get my other stack of copper and kind of add it on to this so I can get a real accurate countdown for how much I need exactly. We just got another one. Oh my god, that feels great. Okay, let's go check the fire as well. And almost done. Imagine that. All right. And let me find my copper. Where did I put you? Over here? Yep. All right, we have 12. So once we get eight more pieces, we will have enough, I believe, to uh, make that hammer. And then we can bust up the chunks and that should, um, you know, increase the volume or at least the opportunity of us finding more copper because once we find those deposits and we break the rock, we get the chunks that we can hammer down. I don't know, though, if, if you have to hammer them on the anvil to get the chunk out, I'm going to be sad. But if you can just combine it in your inventory, like a crafting recipe, like combine the hammer and the uh, the chunks, and it busts up like you combine an axe and logs to make firewood, then we're good. But from what I understand from Alex, I think the... Uh, Anvil takes an outrageous amount of copper. I mean, as it would. It's going to be huge. Oh, boy. All right, we're having some bad luck here. With the rest of this. So we started out really good. We got, like, six pieces. And then it all went... It went south really fast. All right. Uh spearhead. Well, we could make a spear and go hunting, get some meat. That's definitely an option. Now, let's go ahead and empty our inventory. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of go here, and I'm going to throw in all of this stuff. Uh, actually, the spearhead will keep out. Yeah, I even have this copper spear. Plus this... I actually have, like, three spears on me. I don't even need to make one necessarily at the moment. Got some, uh... Zinc. Okay. Oh, wait. Let me check this. Yeah, let me salvage all this firewood. And we get this. Okay. Let me put this away. And then from here, uh, what I can do is eat. And then I can start making the, the cairn. So let me get some clay out. I still have a ton of clay, luckily. And you luckily don't need that much clay, you know? It's pretty cool. All right, I want a... Not a oh, a watering can, actually. Meh? I could water. Yeah, that's actually interesting. Um, can't make it. Maybe like I dreamed I would be able to make the I can make a jug. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Alright, 
let me go into this and say, um, a cairn. Yeah, but the, that's too bad. The cairn thing, like, I keep looking for it, but it keeps going to either this or this. Caft a cairn from any igneous rock. Um, but it doesn't tell you what the recipe is. Like, I click on this, and I wished it... Here we go. I need to go not to guides. That's why I was on guides. Um, let me see if I can make, like, a cheaper one. Granite... It just takes granite rock and sticks. That's it? Okay. I don't know if I have any... Granite, but I should go get some to make the cairn. So I can't make it out of clay. I would make it out of something else. I see. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, do I have granite around? This is sandstone. I know I've seen granite, I feel like, but it was deeper in the cave, maybe? Okay, well, fair enough. And let's see, what time is it? It's 3.30 in the morning. That's still working. All right. So then... It's probably time for me to just be like, Hey... Where's my... This stuff? Yep. And let's take this out, and we can start... Uh... Sifting through it. Cool. Alright, so we're gonna keep going for some more copper. When it becomes day, we go out, we look for some more deposits, we're gonna look for food to make, and we're gonna look for granite so we can make a cairn and grind that bone into bone meal. And we will get into that next time. Everyone, we found our first little copper deposit. Uh, we finished making some more stuff. We're sifting. We're doing great. I want to say thank you so much for watching. We tried to redirect the water to irrigate our crops. And we are making a better garden. I hope you guys have an excellent evening or day. I'll check you next time. Take care.